Hey everybody, just want to make this quick video just to show you all how I do the data mining for uh, extracting the art and the story CGs from Girls Frontline because it's a process people have asked me about a couple times before. I figured it'd be good to just get a video out so other people can look it up and find out how to do it themselves because it's a pretty useful thing to do and can probably transfer to other games as well. Uh, some things to get out of the way before I start, I am using BlueStacks for this. This can theoretically be done with any of the emulators as long as you can bring files from the uh, Android environment to the computer itself. I just use BlueStacks because it's English and it's just the one I started with so it's easy enough, but it can be really done with any of them, I would assume. As well, you don't actually need to be able to play the game in order to do this. I have the Chinese installation on, I do not have an account, I've never been able to actually access the game itself, but as long as you can download the patches and then download the um, app updates, you should be fine enough to get all the content out as well. So the first thing we want to do to start is we want to go into our media manager. This could be the file browser, it could be my files, it's name changes on about every Android system there are. Um, you go to explore, then go to uh, wherever the app's installed on, mine's, you know, SD, Android, data, and it will be this one. I don't know why it doesn't have a actual name, but there we go. Then we're going to, you know, files, uh, Android, new. And now we are in, it's loading a second, but now these are all the, the files we can extract. Uh, these are relatively self-explanatory if you look at them on a lot of them. So like, okay, this is map background music, this is uh, asset guides, and you scroll down a little bit more and you'll see like characters, you know, type 59, 64 type. If, if you want to extract the characters and get their, um, like the in-game CGs as well as their sprite sheets and spines and all that, you can go through here. So you just, you know, select the ones you want to extract and do that much the same. The one we're looking for right now is I'm getting the login screen uh, because that's just one I've been collecting. And that, if we scroll up, it's asset login one AB. So we can scroll up there. Right here. That's login. Okay, so asset login one AB. So we just, on a blue stack, you just long hold and they can export to Windows. And we'll just, we'll just throw this on my desktop just for for ease of access. So now we have the asset login one and then this will contain a couple of things, one of them being the PNG for the uh, for that Christmas login screen that we can we can see background there. So that's pretty much all we need blue stacks for at this point and really ever. So we can, you know, if we want to we can continue extracting stuff here, but for our purposes we are done with that. So this is something now can be used for any emulators because this is just how to open up AB files. So AB files are a Unity asset bundle file, and it's something that uh, Girls Frontline uses to pretty much host all of their resources. So if we look here, we can't actually open it. You can't open it in WinRAR. You can't open it in really many programs. The only one I found is this program called Unity Asset Bundle Bundle Extractor. It's a it's a program I found on GitHub, and it's something I will link down below. It's pretty simple. You just you know, run it and you're faced with this window. And then what you want to do is you want to file open and then you want to select the asset bundle. It'll say, you know, it's compressed, you want to unpack it, you, uh, you just create a temporary file. You can name it whatever. This is just kind of, I don't think this is a lock file, but I think this is just kind of what it's reading it to. Um, so once it's loaded in, you have your asset bundle, you have whatever file this is. Uh, you hit info and now this is everything that this uh, AB file here contains. We can sort by type and then you can kind of see what everything is. So we say, oh, we want, you know, the texture 2D because this will be the uh, the photo itself. Uh, if we're opening up other um, AB files, some of them will be named slightly better. So if we were looking at some of the story CGs, those would be, I don't, I don't have any offhand, but I know like one is like DJ Max Graveyard is one that for whatever reason shows up a lot. But so this one, the 2D texture will be the background. So then we go to select it, go to plugins, then we go export to PNG. Oh, not that. And then we can just export this to our desktop. And I hit OK. And then, there we go. Now we have the data mine photo from this. I use uh, this program and I can just easily auto crop borders. Sometimes it doesn't work. But then you can just clean it up by dragging and selecting. So cool, I selected it. Image, uh, crop selection cut out, and then save. 
uh, not the screenshots, back to the desktop. And cool, now we have a data mined and cleaned up version of the 2019 Chinese Christmas event login screen. Hey guys, I want to make a quick addition to this video as well to show you how to upscale these images because oftentimes when you extract them, they won't be very large. This one just happens to be larger. Um, this one is 2046 by 2046 when you extract it, but they are often uh, 1024 by 1024. And that is relatively small, so when you crop it, it's 1024 with 768, and then a lot of people end up wanting to use these as like wallpapers or such. And you can't do that with the low-res image, so they often ask to upscale as well. A lot of people do know that uh, Waifu2x exists as a website where you can upload images, upscale them, and download them again. However, they also... Um, I don't know if this was the same people, but there is a fork of it that exists as a desktop client. And this one is a little bit more in-depth than the web client is. So this is what I prefer to use when I'm upscaling images. Uh, this is pretty simple to use. It's much like the much like the web client as well. You can, you know, browse or you can just drag in your input image. Output path will automatically be based on where the image from. So we'll put it in the same directory. A lot of the uh, settings here I don't actually end up changing. I want denoise magnify, uh, denoise level 1 because I don't want too much of it. Uh, denoising uh, pretty much is a way of eliminating some of the um, compression and scaling artifacts. Magnification size is what you will want to pay attention to though. I generally have it set to 175, but you can in fact set like arbitrary uh, width. So if you're like, oh, I want this to fit on my monitor, you know, set so the width is scaled up to uh, 1920 or however many pixels. The model itself, I don't know too much about. I have it kept on the first one, but you can kind of see that some uh, models of upscaling and dealing with noise and whatnot, um, it differs between these. So maybe you find one that works best for you or works best for certain images, but I just keep that standard. Uh, I keep all this stuff standard, and then you just hit start, and I'll start working, and second will show up here. But pretty much what this is, is just a program that once you get the settings done, you just kind of don't touch it for the most part, unless you really know what you're doing as far as image processing goes. But chances are you just keep the same settings and it'll work forever. So now if you're looking here, this image looks the same, but this is now information. This is now 3580. So it's scaled up 1.75 times from the original uh, 2046. So hopefully that's another extra little addition to help you all out with. Uh, this will also be linked down below. And yeah, hope you all enjoyed.